Hello, and welcome to Mav TV. I'm Alex Jensen. This week's challenge is to attend Mountainside's Got Talent at 7 p.m. on Friday. And I'm Dax. The event of the week is the Spirit Spring Stampede Wednesday. It's April, and IB tests are starting up. Last year's Mav TV created a segment that we never aired that relates to IB testing, but also provides some tips for other kinds of testing. IB exam season can be extremely stressful. Whether you're a full diploma student or just taking a couple of tests, IB exams can bring on extreme stress and anxiety. This segment will explore how students can process and handle this stress in healthy ways. I had the privilege of conducting an email interview with Ms. Wirtz, our school social worker, to find some strategies for handling IB exam stresses. Ms. Wirtz informs us that, I think some of the biggest stressors and sources of anxiety during IB exam season is worrying that you won't know it all or perform well. I think perfectionism also plays a role, feeling like you need to be perfect and get the best score. This is difficult as there is no such thing as perfect and striving for something that is not realistic creates a lot of stress, anxiety, and un unhealthy habits. When asked about the effective strategies for dealing with this stress, Ms. Wirtz said, One effective strategy for minimizing stress should include good sleep hygiene. If you are not sleeping well or enough, your brain is not working optimally, which makes you less able to respond appropriately to stressors. If you do not allow yourself the proper amount of sleep, you will have problems focusing, thinking clearly, learning, and performing on not enough or poor quality sleep. Good nutrition is also important for brain function. Make sure you eat regular meals as well as snacking and drinking lots of water when you are studying. Hydration is important for brain function. Eating sugary snacks or processed foods like chips or junk foods do not have any nutrition for your brain and will just make you lethargic and tired more quickly. Exercise is another strategy to reduce stress and anxiety. Making sure you set aside some time each day to move your body and get your blood pumping faster, like taking a brisk walk, going on a run, or going for a bike ride, can release feel-good chemicals that boost your mood and help your brain manage stress. There are studies that show that regular exercise actually increases your ability to focus and learn. If you are feeling anxious or overwhelmed, whether it be from academics or life, there are always resources available for help. Some great resources to manage your mental health and anxiety are meditation apps such as Calm, Headspace, and Breathwork. We know that the stakes are high for IB exams, but maintaining your physical and mental health should always be a priority. Good luck and thank you for your time. Mountainside's Got Talent is this Friday. Be ready to show up on April 19th to watch your fellow staff and peers perform. Doors will be opened at 6.30 p.m. with the show beginning promptly at 7. Ticks are $3 at the shoebox during lunch and $5 at the door. Staff and their families are invited for free. You can also have your entry, free entry if you wear your Stuff the Stables t-shirt to the show. Show up to, sh to support Make-A-Wish and our special guest judge, Enzo. April 15th will be the start of our annual food slash clothing drive. Donations will go in the bins placed in the front of the school by the entrance and a minimum of two items are needed to be donated for a service hour. This is also a grade level competition and the grade with the most items donated will win spirit points. The donations go to Monty's Closet, Northwest Children's Outreach, BSD Clothes for Kids, and Murray Hill Food Pantry. Make sure to contribute before the drive ends on April 26th. A list of accepted items can be found on your announcements. On April 17th, we invite MHS students, current 8th graders, and their families, along with staff, to come to our Spring Stampede event at Mountainside High. From 4 to 7 p.m., outside our, at our track, baseball, and softball fields, there will be food trucks such as Kona Ice, Fuego Mexican Grill, and Aero Coffee and Desserts. Concessions, activities, and more surrounding the track meet versus Westview starting at 4 p.m. Varsity Baseball and Softball are both at 5 p.m. And the first 58th graders will be able to spin a wheel to get free snacks or spirit gear. 8th graders, please bring your school ID to spin the wheel. On June 9th, there will be a UMOJA Black Graduation Celebration at the Patricia Research Center for the Arts in downtown Beaverton. This is a Sunday on June 9th at 6.30 p.m. Applications for scholarships from $1,000 to $5,000 are now being accepted. The link, the link is in your announcements. There are three categories for submissions this year. For your college through essay submission, for your college through art slash medium submission, and community college slash trade slash vocational submission. That's all for today, and remember, go Mavs! Wow, thanks for watching this episode of Mav TV.